What's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Recently I picked up this Dell laptop for $50 on one of those buy and sell trade applications. This was actually let go. It's just like offer up or Craigslist. This is not a sponsor video in any way. I just always look for good deals on here. And I ran across this Dell laptop, read description, $50. The description stated Dell laptop, read description, $50. So I contacted the seller and after about an hour we were able to meet up at a local Walmart. I went ahead and picked this thing up. Now he stated that this was an i3 but it turns out that it's an AMD A6 APU built in here. Thing is super greasy. The power LED doesn't work and I'm pretty sure the hard drive's dead. It was a 500 gigabyte hard drive in here. So I'm going to go ahead and replace this with an SSD and hopefully I can get this up and running. But instead of installing a full blown operating system like Linux or Windows, in this video I'm going to install Batocera and see how this thing works as a little retro gaming machine. I was actually expecting this to be an older laptop but as an AMD A6 9200 with the Radeon R4 and 4 gigabytes of DDR4. I was 100% sure that this would be running DDR3 seeing the price I paid for it. Now these deals can be found, but you're going to have to jump on them. As soon as you see it, you need the money in your pocket and you need to be able to meet up. You can't ask somebody to wait around or hold it for you for a couple days. You need to get it while it's there. This would have been gone the next five minutes if I didn't see it when it was posted. And it definitely doesn't hurt to live in a smaller town where everybody's searching for dirt bikes and engines and things like that instead of laptops. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and take this thing apart. I've already removed some screws out of the bottom. I'm going to pull this old hard drive out, throw in a cheap 240 gigabyte SSD, and I'm going to upgrade the RAM. Four gigabytes will be plenty for Batocera and emulation. The only problem is I want to run this in dual channel, and the only extras I have laying around are two four gigabyte sticks of Rip Jaws DDR4. If this was a DDR3 system, I would have put two two gigabyte sticks of DDR3 in here, so I have dual channel at four gigs. Another thing to look out for is the battery life on these things. I mean, if you're going to buy a used laptop, you might as well buy another battery. And by the time you're done replacing the RAM, the hard drive, and the battery, you're better off just going to Best Buy and buying one of their cheaper Pentium Silver N5000 laptops. For this, I'm going to be using a cheap 240 gigabyte SSD that I got on Amazon. I'll leave links in the description. I got a couple of these and they work great. There are two DIMMs in here, but there's a single 4 gigabyte stick like I expected. I'm also going to be changing the thermal paste on this heatsink here. I'm just going to pull it off, put some thermal grizzly on it, put it all back together. Since this is a quote unquote newer laptop, I would just install Linux on here in RetroPie, but I planned this video out to use an older laptop to run Batocera from either a hard drive or a USB drive, so I'm going to continue with it. So I've installed the new drive and the RAM. I've also changed the thermal paste on this heatsink. I just use Thermal Grizzly for this thing. I'm going to be installing Batocera to the SSD that I installed. And if you're interested in doing this with your laptop, I've made several tutorials. I'll leave links in the description. I'm not going to go over it in this video. I just want to see how this thing performs with Batocera, PSP, and GameCube emulation. All right, so here it is. I've installed Batocera. I'm using a Bluetooth PS4 controller. It connects right up to the Bluetooth built into this laptop. Like I mentioned, I do have full tutorials on installing and setting up Batocera. Sound is also working through the laptop, but I can't get HDMI out. I was able to scrape some of these systems, but I'm unable to scrape Sega Saturn, GameCube, and Naomi. The first emulator I wanted to test was Dolphin, so we'll go with some GameCube games here. Now with each one of these systems, I will have the system name displayed and the game on screen so you can see what's playing at any given time. I'm going to try to display the FPS in each one of these systems, but unfortunately I can't get anything to display with Dreamcast, but it's up in the top left hand corner with this one here. And I'll move in a bit closer. As you can see, I'll have the name of the system and the game on screen. If you've ever messed around with the Dolphin emulator, you might know about Shader Cache, but it has to cache shaders, so every time you play a new level, you will get some dips here and there, but the next time you play it, it'll be super smooth. And you'll notice it in these games here, because this is the first time I've ever played it on the system. This emulator would probably run a lot better on this laptop if I was using Windows, because right now we're using OpenGL, and with these AMD APUs, OpenGL isn't that great, but DirectX 11 works much better, and in Windows, we could swap over the back end for the Dolphin emulator to DX11 instead of OpenGL. Just going to let a couple more games play out, and then we'll swap over to the next system.
I'm only going to be testing one N64 game in this video because I'm sure it's going to run fine on this hardware. Here we have PS2 running Tekken 5. I knew it wasn't going to work well on this laptop because it only has a 2 GHz dual core CPU and the PS2 emulator really needs a powerful CPU to run properly. But if you really need your PlayStation fix, PlayStation 1's gonna run fine, and PSP. This is God of War Chains of Olympus, one of the harder ones to emulate. I also tested Killzone, and it didn't do great on this CPU. But overall, PSP should be playable with most games, even at higher resolutions. This is set at 1x, but I'm sure we could go up to at least 3x on other games. Dreamcast is another one that's going to work pretty well on here, and again, if I was running Windows, I would be using ReDream, and I could up the resolution even higher than this. And finally, I wanted to test out some Naomi and the Thomas Wade games. They seem to work pretty well on this system. So overall, it works pretty well for emulation. I wish I could have found something that was more accessible to people for around the same price, but I did see these on eBay for around 100 bucks for the same model here. Personally, I wouldn't go out hunting for this specific model here, but if you do run across one of these on your local Craigslist, OfferUp, or Facebook Marketplace, definitely pick it up if you can get it for the right price.
Like I mentioned at the beginning, these deals are out there, but you got to be ready to get it when it goes on the market. Now, I set up notifications on Craigslist, offer up, and let go. 90% of the time when something's posted and I message the person, I never get a reply back. But in the rare cases when I do, I'm ready to buy, I'm ready to meet up right then, especially when it's a deal like this. Really appreciate you guys watching. If there's anything else you want to see running on this specific laptop, like operating system or any kind of emulators, let me know in the comments below. I'll tell you right now that Wii U and PS3 is just not going to work on something like this. It's too low end. But if you want to see Android, Linux, Windows, pretty much anything, just let me know in the comments below. I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like button, maybe subscribe to the channel, and like always, Thanks for watching.